What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. It's been about 10 months since I made a video and that's because I've been waiting for this guy to arrive. But it's finally here and in this episode I'm gonna take you through and show you all the options I got because this is a special order van. All right guys, so I just wanted to make a quick video and show you exactly how I ordered this van since it was a custom order and it's uh, it's the fifth van I've bought and going to be building but it's the first one that I custom ordered so I kind of ordered it exactly how I want and um, it has some pretty cool features that none of the other vans had so I just want to show you that real quick in the next video we're going to start building it I hope you guys follow along for that and for those of you who stuck around for the last 10 months I uh, appreciate that and let's uh Start with the first option here under optional equipment, which is the most obvious. It was a $200 option for the silver paint. All the other vans I've had have been just the plain white. And actually don't mind the white. I, I like it because it uh, stays a little bit cooler. The main reason I did this is because for some reason the Pro Masters just have terrible paint jobs and all the vans I've had from them, when they're brand new, they already had some like rust on the roof. So I thought it's only a $200 option. Maybe if you order a, a custom color, they might do a little better job painting it. It was just a theory, but it, it actually looks like it might have worked. Looks like the paint's a little bit better. Might be worth it for 200 bucks. And then the next option was a really big one. The driver convenience group which includes the front fog lamps heated power folding mirrors this one uh, this option uh, group I've actually had on the last van the rear park assist and this is a new option for uh, 2022 the remote start system so you can actually start the van with the key fob or even better, you can start the van actually with an app on your phone. You actually don't even need the key. You can start the van with the app. You can unlock it, lock it. So that's pretty cool. The next option is the premium convenience group. And this was a $1,845 option. And a lot of this stuff, it just kind of came with. I didn't really want, but there were a few things that I really wanted to have. The passive entry, this one, I really want it also so you can just unlock the door with the key in your pocket which again I know a lot of cars have that but uh, these commercial vans it's pretty unusual to see that on them so this option here the 10.1 inch touchscreen display with the navigation this was an option that I really wanted this makes a huge difference to have a, a big screen if you're familiar with the Pro Masters and in the previous generations and also the current generation uh, base models they have a tiny crappy little screen that looks really really outdated and doesn't really have any features but this 10.1 inch tablet st style screen is a lot nicer and this is a cool feature here it now has with includes a wireless charging pad and you could also put your phone right in there and have somewhere to store your phone I usually have a little magnet that I use but this is um, this is pretty cool to have too. Um, here's another option I opted for the 220 amp alternator, which was a $295 option, and uh, that's pretty important to get since I'm going to be using alternator charging. So I'll have a little bit more stress on the alternator. So with the more powerful alternator, that should help out a little bit. And this here, the passenger sliding door with window. It's only a $295 option, so this was like definitely worth it for me. I, th I spent way more than that on the um, aftermarket window that I installed on the last van. And although that aftermarket window does open, it tilts open, it was pretty flimsy. And it kind of like rattled when you like slammed the door and stuff. So to have the factory installed window, it's a much cleaner look. And this is an option I really wanted. The digital rear view mirror. That's a $695 option, which is kind of expensive, I guess, but it makes a huge difference. 
when you're driving these vans, you just have to look out the two side mirrors and it's really hard to like know what's going on around you. Even if you actually have windows in the back, you're not gonna be able to see anything out once you build out the van. You have your curtains, you're gonna have cabinets in the way, you're gonna have your bed back there. So even if you have windows in the back, you're not gonna be able to see anything. So with this digital rear view mirror, it makes a huge difference. It makes it so much easier to drive. And this next option, the leather wrapped steering wheel. This is one I really wanted as well. And it's $295, I think it's well worth it. If you're building out a camper van, you're going to be taking it on really long drives. So you don't wanna to be touching that hard, cheap plastic that the ProMasters always have. So now it has a nice leather wrapped steering wheel and really gives it a nicer feel inside when you're driving, especially on long trips. So with this premium convenience group, it also has a 360 degree surround camera for when you're parking. That's a huge upgrade from the crappy like 1990s style backup camera that the van used to have. It's much more up to date now. One of the biggest differences for the 2022 model year is the transmission. All previous generations have had a six speed automatic transmission and it now has a nine speed automatic transmission. And this makes a huge difference with acceleration and going up like high speed hills on like the freeway and that sort of thing. It um, drives a lot better, much, much better. So the total price of the van before taxes and all that stuff was 51640 I think it was something like uh, 55000 after all the taxes and fees and everything. Close to fifty six, actually. Okay guys, so that's pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to show you how I ordered the van and let me know what you guys think, if there's any other options you would have chose. And um, hit that like and subscribe button. And in the next video, I'm gonna start building this out. So I hope you guys uh, subscribe and follow along for the whole process. Thanks a lot, bye.